Now joined by Tim Lawton, a Conservative MP from the South Coast who currently serves on the Home Affairs Select Committee, and Hassan Akkad, an asylum seeker who's been granted leave to remain here for five years. He features in a video that's been projected on the White Cliffs of Dover. Crossing the sea on a rubber dinghy is terrifying and devastating. Devastating because it makes you feel so helpless and insignificant. And I wouldn't wish it for my worst enemy. Well, now, I mean, before we talk about children, before we talk about focusing on, you know, what, what's happening here, let's have a look at the people coming over. Tim Lawton, the government, Priti Patel, they keep talking about taking action to try and stop this, but it's not working. People keep coming. What's going wrong with the government strategy? Well, there's a number of things. First of all, people are coming across the channel because the word's got out that there's a fair chance they'll be able to get across the, uh, the channel. And it's also being put about, and we've heard from one of the French MPs who've been interviewed on your programme and others in the last week or so, that there's a perception that it's much easier to work uh, illegally uh, in the UK, and the French are doing nothing to disavow them of that perception. And until the French agree to stop boats in the water and to take people back to France or to allow the border force to take people caught in British waters back to France, so that they can have their asylum applications processed in, in France, this is going to continue. And that's what needs to stop. We need to do better. This is a, not just a, a French problem, and the French are not going to help it by making it a British problem. We all have a responsibility here. here. We've been trying to work jointly with the, the French, with better security, with sharing intelligence, trying to break up some of the people smuggling gangs as well. But all the time, people think they can get in the water and there's a good chance they can get across the most dangerous shipping lane uh, in the world. They're going to continue to try it, and that is what has got to stop. Hassan Akko, what do you think of that? I mean, in that video you were talking about being in France, seeing the White Cliffs of Dover. You were in France. That's not a country that's going to persecute you. Why didn't you claim asylum there? Because I want to claim asylum in Britain. I have the full right to, to live and claim asylum wherever I want. And uh, going back to your point, uh, the, the, the pe pe people aren't coming because they got, the word got out that it's, there's, a, there's a chance of crossing the channel. People are coming because the legal routes have stopped. Uh, re re resettlement have stopped. Uh, Dobbs Amendment, which reset, which brings in unaccompanied minors legally into the UK, has stopped. There are 6,000 unaccompanied minors in makeshift camps in Europe, and they can't come to the UK because the government stopped this. But you Dobbs say Amendment. you have a right to claim asylum here. Actually, that's not what the law says, is it? The law says you need to claim asylum in the country where you first arrive. Um, the, well, that's safe. It's, yeah, the, where, where it's safe. France is a safe country, right? France is a safe country, but I, I mean, I, but crossing and to, uh, the, the channel to claim asylum in Britain for me is not illegal. It's not illegal for migrants to come here and, and seek asylum. It's my right. It's it's within uh, within international law for people to seek asylum wherever they like. I want to claim asylum in Britain. That's what, my... what do you say to that, Tim Lawton? I suppose it makes sense. You go where you've got connections. He wanted to be in well, Britain. You've He's got in Britain. family members, you you've got connections. connections, you've got a strong chance of integrating, you, you speak, speak the English. language, you've got community. I have, yeah. If you have connections in the UK, we have the Family Reunion Scheme, which operates under uh, Dublin, and uh, that takes people which stopped, who have got which people... Stopped in, uh, which, March, which stopped in March of this year. Let's the just family, hear from Jim Lawson. The Family Reunification Scheme, which we want to continue under Dublin post-Brexit will specifically take people with links in the UK. And I've met many people who've been coming in through uh, through Greece, coming in through refugee camps in, uh, uh, in Jordan that I've uh, visited, who may not have other relatives, but they do have a connection in the UK. And absolutely, those sorts of uh, schemes are really valuable. And I want to see those schemes uh, extended and perhaps expanded. But people who are coming across the channel in dinghies, many of them, most of them, paying money to people traffickers, uh, illegal uh, people traffickers, big crime, are effectively queue jumping and stealing places from those genuine refugees who are playing by the rules, who could apply in the first port that they reach, or from the refugee camps in places uh, like Jordan. And our uh, policy in this country has been to concentrate on those genuine refugees, some of the most vulnerable uh, people. The 25,000 we've taken under the Syrian uh, scheme, half of them have been children. We've given them safe homes, safe refuge and support in the United Kingdom. And that is a far better way to do it than allowing people to come across 
uh, in I'm not, I'm not condoning not, people. That you don't have a right to do that. It's I don't have the legal. right, and I don't want people to cross on dinghies. I don't want people crossing the channel on dinghies because it costs lives. And but people... they're queue jumping, aren't they? Uh, I, what, I, what Mr. Lauder said, it benefits the richest ones who can afford to pay the people smugglers. Britain has re Britain has resettled. Uh, is, is pledging to resettle 5,000 refugees every year. But what is your answer about queue jumping? No, about queue jumping. The UNHCR stated that there are 1.4 million refugees who are in desperate need for resettlement. They are entitled for resettlement. So 5,000 is a molecule number. Um, sorry, the select committee that you were a member in, and Priti Mittal was a member in, they advised that, that the, they advised that the policy, the, the Foreign Affairs Select Committee in 2019, they advised that the po they advised that any policy which exclusively focuses on closing borders without uh, uh, without uh, uh, without finding other ways of for people to claim asylum will push migrants into migrants and refugees into uh, gangs, and they will ma they will make the crossing anyways. So it's. it's we can't just look at stopping people from crossing. We have to find solutions. And there are currently no solutions. Well, people, resettlement has stopped. But you know what didn't stop? Deportation. During so the Tim pandemic, Lawson, let's, let, let's people get are still being to deported that, to we, Germany, to France, to Eastern Europe. Tim, Tim Lawson, what's there your There are various ways of helping refugees. And we've been absolutely giving uh, places, safe places, to some of those most vulnerable refugees. We can have an argument about whether those numbers should be uh, more. I would agree with uh, that, and I think we can do more, but we absolutely cannot do more by people who want to queue jump by coming in those dinghies. But also, if you look, I think the taxpayer in this country has given something like two and a half billion pounds to support Syrian and other uh, refugees in refugee camps outside of uh, Syria. Uh, we've spent more money than any other country in the world, apart from the US, in doing uh, that. That is the way you support people until hopefully one day it will be safe to go back to uh, Hassan's uh, country uh, in Syria and keep them out of the hands of the people and um, traffickers. That's a much safer and more responsible way to look after genuinely vulnerable refugees and Tim, than saying, look, there's a chance you can get across the, uh, uh, the channel and if you congregate around uh, uh, Calais uh, and you've got money, uh, then you might be able to get uh, uh, across. And what That's about, what's really the answer? Tim Lawson, what's the answer, do you think, to this point that Kent is full up, certainly when it comes to unaccompanied children? What should the government be doing? Should they be compelling other councils to take these children? Should they be giving more money to Kent to take more of these children, to build facilities? What's the answer? Well, th this is another deeply worrying side of this. We can all, all talk about how we deal with um, refugees coming here in whatever shape or form, but we've actually got to give proper support and safe uh, home for those children who will probably be spending the rest of their um, lives here. And Kent is absolutely on the front line and is full up and has done far more than its fair uh, share. So clearly, we need to have a better dispersal system around the country so that more local authorities and others can give safe uh, home. It's not just a question of dumping people. We, we need to make sure they can live um, safe and fulfilling uh, lives with other people from uh, their own uh, countries and, uh, and, and languages so that they can settle and be looked after um, properly. We've got to do far better than that. I'm, I'm the first one to uh, uh, to admit to, to, to that. So but the you, situation would, is well, not would you, would you agree with me that the government should... Dangerous. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but would you, would you agree it with me that... It is not responsible to allow a child to come across in a dinghy with parents and other adults. That is highly irresponsible it's and is not... It's also highly irresponsible to, to, to close every but legal road to claim asylum to Britain. Is it? That's the point. It's not responsible for people to come in dinghies and it's also not responsible for the government to close every legal route into Britain. No it resettlement hasn't. since March that stopped. Dubs amendment has stopped. People cannot come legally to claim asylum in Britain. There is no humanitarian visa. You can't fly into this country and claim asylum. It cannot happen. So that's why people are having to pay their savings to people smugglers so they can come here, so they can be reunited with their families. So they don't um, have the government to do needs that. to listen to the advice. To, 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 I'm sorry, can can I, can, to you've spoken. Route. Can I speak, please? No, I'm afraid we're going to have to end it. So I just, uh, to, to Tim Lawton, quickly. You're saying that's not true? It's irresponsible to say the only way to get here is to pay £4,000 to organise crime 
to I'm risk not saying your life that. I didn't in say a dinghy that. and bring children I as said well. in the absence of legal routes, well. people are, are having to pay money. get safe passage to this country. Hassan, it's really not responsible. For I know, it's not responsible, that. but there are no legal routes. It's irresponsible for Britain to co close That's its true. borders. I'm afraid we're going to have to end it there. Yeah. It's also Hassan, just wrong. Hassan Akkad, Tim Lawson, thank you very much for joining thank us. Thank you.